Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sports series. This time we're going to look at colouring, colouring the bars depending on, on how you want to go about that. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example of what I mean here. So I've set up a, a very simple bar chart here. Uh, we're looking at pass percentage by team by player. And what Tableau allows you to do is obviously to colour these bars. Now you have a couple of choices here. You can colour all the bars the same colour. So don't put anything on the colour uh, card here. So I can click colour and I can change the, the bars to be a particular colour. I can use a dimension. So in this case, let's use maybe team name. So I can put team name onto colour and I can colour the bars depending on the team. Okay, so Liverpool can be red and let's make Tottenham green, for example. And I can do it that way. Or I could colour by the measure itself. Okay, so the pass success rate here, if I put that onto colour, I get a colour range from dark blue to light blue in this case. But I could obviously go in and I can pick again from all sorts of different palettes. Okay, so you can make that orange blue, for example. You can even create your own custom palettes and so on. Okay, so that's another option you have. Often then what people want to be able to do is colour these bars depending on some sort of criteria. So imagine our coach or our manager wants to know, you know, everyone above 70%, everyone between 60 and 70%, and then everyone else is a bucket. And you might have three distinct colors for those. Okay, so how do you create those three distinct colors based on what I've just shown you? Well, you can't based on the way I've just shown you, but we can create a calculated field to help us, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculated field and depending on the result of that answer, it'll put these players into one of those three buckets. Okay, so let's call this pass percent color because it's going to go on the color shelf. And for this, we're going to write uh, what's known as an if statement. So if this measure here, so if pass success, is greater than let's say 0.69 okay so that'll be 0.7 or greater if it's greater than that then i'm gonna write an excellent the word here actually doesn't really matter okay uh, nobody necessarily is going to see the word as long as it's just something different than the next line okay so that's if the first kind of measure is hit obviously there's a bunch of people that don't meet this criteria so we might want to break them into a different section. Okay, so if pass success percentage is greater than, let's say greater than or equal to 0.5, then we'll call them okay. And then we'll put everyone else. So if you don't meet this criteria or this criteria, then we'll write else bad, okay? And we finish an if statement with the word end. Okay. And what you're looking for is to see that this calculation is valid down here. And the other thing I want to just point out is if I expand, there's a little arrow here beside my calculation window. If I expand that, it gives you a list of all the syntax calculations that you need. So for example, I've put in an if here, it shows you how to write it. Okay, so often I get asked about how would you know you that's how you write it, how do I know it needs an end? Uh, you can actually search for them in here. Okay. So what this is going to do is it's going to check this pass percentage for each team and each player. And if it reaches this criteria, it's going to excellent, this one okay, anything else will be bad. And what that's going to do is give us three distinct buckets. And we're going to put those, this, this new measure that we've made here, this new dimension I should say here, onto colour. So let's take pass percent colour onto colour. And you see now we've our three buckets. And again, you can go in and edit these colours. Okay, quick thing about color, bear in mind people being colorblind, it's a reasonable percentage of the population. So that's why you'll notice in Tableau that their default is usually this orange and blue, not red and green. Okay, so not red and green. You can obviously choose whatever colors you want, but just be aware that that's what's going on here. Okay, so it might make okay that, excellent, I make green and uh, yeah doesn't matter what the colors are, but let's go with this way. Okay, so I now have my 
excellent passers, my okay passers, and my poor passers down here. Okay, so that's how you can create a kind of KPI colouring scheme within your Tableau dashboards. Thanks for listening.